Welcome everybody. Uh, I wanted to talk with you today about uh, one of my latest projects. I've never made a coil gun before and decided that that was something I wanted to try out. So I'm using uh, some wire coils here, single stage, just a single coil. I'm using a coffee straw on the left and a, a slightly larger drinking straw on the right. Coffee stirrer on the left. And I'm using some sawn off uh, nails here. So there's a narrow caliber nail that fits in that coffee straw and there's a slightly wider nail that fits in the yellow drinking straw. And then the type of wire gauge I'm using is different too. I'm using like 26 gauge wire on the left, about 200 turns of wire. And on the right, I'm using much less turns of 16 gauge uh, enamel wire. And then um, for the um, capacitor bank, what I'm using here is, these are 1000 microfarad capacitors. Uh, I've got two connected in series to give tolerance of 400 volts. Each one of these is 200 volts tolerance. And then I've connected these uh, series coupled capacitors in parallel for a total of 1500 microfarads. And then to charge them up, I'm using a voltage doubler. And I've got some heavy duty diodes here. These are connected together in parallel. So each one can handle 20 amps. So I've got a total of, um, oh, sorry, actually 10 amps, so 20 amps. Uh, can go in and I'm using a variac to vary the amount of voltage on the capacitors up to a total of 340 volts which would be 120 volts AC input and then I'm using a heavy duty switch here uh, right here and this one is for the narrow gauge the 26 gauge coil uh, I can use the switch successfully with the uh, 16 gauge coil the switch ends, ends up sparking and fusing so I'm using just a couple of nails that I'm just touching together to make contact. What I plan to do with this is to use soft switching. I plan to, I've ordered them already, to use some thyristors. And I've got about like five or 10 of them ordered. And I want to connect about five of them in um, parallel. Uh, each one is 40 amps. So five should give me about, you know, five times 40. It's so about 200 amps which should be enough for this uh, uh, bank of capacitors and uh, should give me less energy loss due to sparking and fusion of the metal. Now with the uh, thinner coil on the left, there's a lot, lot more energy loss due to heating of the coil since it's got a much bigger resistance. You know, when you pump that much current through a thin coil, there's a lot of heat loss. With this uh, less turn uh, but wider gauge coil, there's very minimal heating and most of the energy is transferred to the projectile. And for the projectiles, I'm using these nails, as you can see, see here, sawn off nails. Narrower one for the coffee straw and the wider one for this bigger straw. And so let's test it out and see what happens. Uh, I'm going to use that variac over there to charge up these capacitors. Um, I didn't have any bus bars, so I'm using a 12 gauge um, copper wire to connect these up. Uh, with larger capacitors, I'd probably end up using bus bar and making all the connections as short as possible to minimize uh, energy losses in the wires. So let's see how this thing holds up. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is switch on the Variac, power it up to about at least 200 to 300 volts in the capacitors, turn off the Variac, so now the capacitors are charged and then we're going to flip the switch and uh, see how this thing works. So here goes. And there you go. It's uh, pretty uh, strong enough to stick in that piece of styrofoam. Now we're going to try it again with the bigger coil, I, this one over here that I showed you earlier. And we're going to see what this does. Now this one I probably couldn't use the switch to do this one. Here it goes. Pretty impressive. Well, thanks for watching my first attempt at this um, coil gun. Uh, future developments that I plan on this, uh, these uh, coil guns are to use uh, two coils and to use some sort of um, timing mechanism to fire one after the other. 
and also to use soft switching instead of just touching two pieces of metal together as what I was doing here. But anyway, this did work quite successfully and uh, although I didn't hit my target, um, it still uh, was able to give enough uh, velocity. We're talking about at 340 volts on the voltage doublet and those capacitors, we're talking about 86 joules which um, when you use uh, E equals a half CV squared um, that should give you 86 joules and when you use uh, kinetic energy which is a half MV squared that should be able to give you velo your velocity. Of course because there's a lot of heat loss especially in the thinner wire you know uh, you're gonna get much less than these theoretical velocities but with the thicker wire there's a lot less heat loss and so in theory, you should be able to get closer to calculated velocities. Thanks for watching.